Welcome to the FUMS Now podcast show, where you'll gain information, inspiration, and motivation for living your best life with multiple sclerosis. Find us online at FUMSnow.com. Now, here's your host, Kathy Reagan Young. Hello, and welcome to the FUMS Now podcast show. Thanks so much for joining me. Today's interview is with Bobby and Judy Edwards, the founders of Squatty Potty, a toilet posture device. Actually, it's like a step stool that fits around the base of your toilet to position your legs in a squatting position, and it can really make a difference for evacuation, let's say. It helps you poop. How's that for blunt? It may not be the most pleasant of subjects to talk about, but it's an important one for everyone, and it's often at times an issue for MSers in particular. And because of that, I wanted to find answers. That's the mission of this podcast, to provide information, inspiration, and motivation to live your best life with MS. So let's meet Bobby and Judy and learn more about Squatty Potty. Hey, Edwards. Welcome to the FUMS Now podcast show, and thanks so much for being here. I know you're swamped right now since uh, your business Squatty Potty just was featured on the American television show Shark Tank. Congratulations, and thanks for taking time out of what must be a crazy, busy schedule to chat with me today. Okay, thank you, Kathy. We're, it's a real pleasure to, to talk with you today as, as well. Thanks. So let's start at the beginning. Why start a... I don't know what to call it, a colon repositioning business, shall we say. What what led you to start Squatty Potty? Well, as a, a mother of, of seven children. Oh, my. <laughs> and a, lot, a lot of uh, colon uh, constipation and hemorrhoid issues throughout those years. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was uh, also suffering from some bowel you know, problems and mm-hmm. issues and um, went to a colon hydrotherapist just to kind of get cleaned out and mm-hmm. had, I had bought a, a new home with a taller toilet and that's when my problems really got worse. Oh. Um, and when I went to her, she told me that I should always go to the bathroom with my knees above my waist. And uh, I'd never heard of such a thing, you know, like in a squat position. And she said I would have a lot better elimination that way. So. I came home and started researching that topic, and uh, Bobby, my son, I talked with him, and he had already heard of the concept as well, and we just put our heads together along with my husband and decided this was important information that needed to get out to the world, (laughs) or at least to the, the, you know, uh, friends and family that we had. Uh, We felt it important enough, so we got together, and, and Bobby... Uh, designed a little uh, stool that wrapped around the, the base of the toilet. We give it out for Christmas gifts and oh, that's had, great. Such, had such great success that we decided we had a product we needed to get to market. Yeah, you know, Kathy, they say uh, necessity is the mother of all, con- right. uh, all invention, invention. Well, my mother was constipated. Yeah. And, and, we, <laughs> and you we, fixed it. We, well, we looked <laughs> for solutions, and the solution was. Not in diet or uh, you know other medication. Me- yeah, medication. Uh, she was eating a, a healthy diet. She was active, uh, but still constipated. And we, we, the one thing missing was the p- the posture. Right. And when we found when she tried the stool, she originally tried just a regular foot stool, and it worked. And we we thought, well, you know, it helped. But uh, then we looked at the footstool, and there was a lot of issues with just a regular footstool. Um, it, it doesn't; it's not wide, and it doesn't wrap around your toilet. Sure. So uh, your, your 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 feet are essentially out in front of you, and not in close to your body in a natural squat position. So we designed a stool that would wrap around the toilet that was wide enough so that you could uh, get it mimic a more natural squat posture, you know, with your thighs flexed into your abdomen instead of out in front of you. Right. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, that's, that's kind of how we, we, we came up with the design, many prototypes, trial, you know, trial and error, uh, until we come up with just the perfect solution and the, and the, and the, per, and the perfect design. That is a great story. I love it. Got a problem? Find a solution. That's perfect. Um, you know, I found you because my co-author, Aaron Glace, is a pelvic floor physical therapist who recommends Squatty Potty all the time. 
and her patients report great results. And I'm always on the hunt for products and services that can help my FUMS audience. Um, in fact, we're in the middle of writing the ebook Bowel and Bladder Issues in Multiple Sclerosis, Identification, Treatment, and Prevention, brought to you by 2P Brains with Potty Mouths Talking Shit About MS. So, based on that title alone, our association seemed predestined. <laughs> right. I know. In fact, you know, we, we, we call our fans, we have legions of fans, and we do, you know, enjoy quite a cult following. It's I not bet. quite... It's not quite mainstream yet, but we just call them all potty mouths. You yeah, know? oh, that's great. Yeah. People who aren't afraid. You know, we talk about diet, we talk about nutrition, which is very important. Sure. But just as important is the way we eliminate. And, and, and we've got kind of Victorian principles and ideals about toileting. And, uh, you know, part of our mission is to change the way America poops. And, we, and how can we talk about it if we're not really directly talking to the subject? So we, we've Agreed. decided that you know, we had a secret, we knew something that worked, and we had to really just break the taboo of, of potty talk and, and talk frankly about it. Right. I love that. I remember when, I think it was Oprah came out. Was it Oprah? Yes. Yeah. With um, Dr. Oz first and yes. talked about poop and what it should look like and the consistency. and Everyone went crazy. Oh, I was a bit mortified and thrilled all at the same time because why shouldn't we talk about this is so, you know, this should be something that's very, uh, very important to you. <laughs> you better get it right. I think that silence perpetuates the cycle. It always does, right? Yes, absolutely. So, um, you know, people have such a phobia and fear of, of pooping that they'll withhold from actually going, which, mm. you know, exacerbates the constipation. Right. Uh, you know, they're afraid. And, and one should go. When, one need, when you need to go, you should go. Yes. Don't hold it in. That's right. Amen, uh, brother. Yeah. Get on, the <laughs> get on the toilet and let it go. Preaching for poop. I hear you. Um, well, you know, people with multiple sclerosis uh, often suffer with, as I said, both bowel and bladder issues, but constipation in particular seems to be a pretty common issue in this patient population do, I'm sure, to things such as, you know, reduced physical activity and mobility and, and certainly certain medications that can all cause constipation. But honestly, it had never occurred to me that positioning could play such a key role in this issue. Have you uh, had inquiries from other MS groups or other particular disease representatives? We have, you know, particularly in the autism community, there was a a big, oh uh, sure, right off the off the bat, with yeah, children constipated and, and and toileting, and and we we had a quite a few parents about with autistic children that gave us you know immediate feedback, and 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 it was most mostly all positive, of oh, course, wow. that how Great. you know they've been giving their children Miralax and 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 other you know diet you know other uh, diuretic right. medicines, that, laxatives. And uh, spending, you know, hundreds of or thousands of dollars on doctor visits, and and when they found this that that the squatty potty, mm -hmm. such a simple mm -hmm. device, helped more than anything. They were just, well, they were excited, and then they were upset <laughs> because they had right heard what about they had been this. through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they hadn't heard about this earlier. Right. So yeah, so autism, um, you know, there was, but no, particularly speaking to the MS community, um, you know. We, we, I think this is you're you're one of the first one to, uh, in this group to catch on, and um, I think to reach out. We haven't really yeah. heard from any other. Uh, we do get a lot of IBS groups. Um, I, I imagine. You know, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of women with uh, you know colostomies and 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 certain other uh, issues mm -hmm. that have all um, been helped with the with the with the use of the squatty potty, but. Um, yeah. You know, Kathy, can I mention too that um, please, please. Con constipation, besides po uh, toilet posture, there are other reasons that cause constipation. So if, if changing your posture is seem to be working, you might be on medication or something that is causing sure. uh, other problems in the bowel area. And we did formulate a formula called Good Move. It's completely natural, vegan, no fillers, no preservatives, nothing in it uh, other than just an herbal combination with probiotics and enzymes that helps to um, naturally, naturally oh, oh. strengthen 
and uh, clean out the colon. And it draws water. It draws water to the bowel with aloe. It's 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 most the main ingredient is cape aloe, um, and it really helps to get the if if it, if it's a, if they're in a chronic constipation stage, get the get the flow going. Then and and when it, and used along with the squatty potty can get them back to being normal. Oh, that's great. I love that. And is it is it gluten-free? Yes. yes. And oh. it, has, it has a lot of healing agents for the bowel as well for inflammation. Yeah, yeah it's got mm-hmm. marshmallow. It's got a lot of uh, soothing and healing stuff to help, uh, you know, calm. Right. Oh, that's fantastic. I know that aloe is something that is suggested uh, for use for constipation a lot. So it sounds yeah. like you've incorporated no, that as well. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, and so if you know if the squatty potty alone isn't doing the trick, we recommend that you take the um, good, good move. move along with it because there's other issues going on as well as position. Sure, and that's for, for occasional use. It's not you know right. It's safe enough to be used um, daily, but but we do recommend it for occasional use just to get things going back in the flow. Right, and stick with your squatty potty. You know, posture is 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 important. As in everything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Giving birth. Yes. Oh, boy. At the desk. You know, yeah. there's a lot of things that posture come into play. and uh, That's so true. There's a lot of diseases that are called, you know, I, I call them cultural genetic diseases where because of our culture, we're, 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 we're causing ourselves to be diseased like high heels or bras right. or, you know. Right. Or, you know, what I was doing was sticking my, how do I explain this, my head out like jutting my head forward so my neck was way out because I was looking at the computer all day long yeah, right. thinking that I had some musculoskeletal issues and um, what I learned was I just needed to pull my head back a little bit and realign and postures made all kinds of difference for me so yeah posture in all things is important we should keep that in mind MSers um, Something of great interest to those of us with MS, too, and, well, really all health issues, is your quest to seek FDA compliance and gain medical reimbursement coverage for Squatty Potty and have it deemed a medical device. I just love that. That's fantastic. How long? I bet this takes a long, involved process. (laughs) It is. It's a lengthy process that involves, you know, clinical trials. Uh, we, we, We did a preliminary trial just recently. Uh, in 2014, which gave us enough information that we feel we can move forward with a with a more scientific model that the FTC will will um, and will will um, allow us, mm-hmm. you know, to 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 use. We learned something from this. We wanted to see really if if it was not if it wasn't just anecdotal, right? Right. We we get a lot of feedback, and and people are independently writing and and talking about Squatty Potty all the time. Um, so, but we just so we, we we started with that, and and it it was conclusive that squatty potty does provide relief from constipation, um, but uh, it was done you know not in a, a scientific method. It was a, not a double blind. It was just with uh, people who were experiencing constipation. They 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 uh, marked with their bowel movements. They did some uh, you know. A reporting of their bowel movement before squatty potty. Mm-hmm. They tried the squatty potty for 30 days and then did some reporting on that. And it, and it was definitely a conclusive improvement in uh, in bowel movement and bill frequency and uh, you know less and and also less time. Less time you Excellent. Know, and, and ease probably. And ease, ease exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And pain and painful, less painful. Fantastic. So, All uh, the things you want. Yeah. So that gave us enough to realize. So do we really want to go and spend this? you know, tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars literally to get this approved. Right. And, and, you know, it's definitely in our sights and it's something that, that uh, we're, we're, we're looking forward to doing in 2015 or 16. Just, it just takes, it takes some money, to right. be honest. Right. <laughs> I understand. And time. Or we need to find a big sponsor. You know, there are, are some cancer societies that, that might be willing to sponsor a study. Uh, we're looking for that. Excellent. Um, well, best of luck with that. I know we'll be watching that closely because this uh, we're you know we're in a chronic disease state, and so um, it can be incredibly costly. And and to be able to find something that is uh, 
of use to us and then might possibly be covered by insurance, that's huge to us. So we'll keep right. an eye on you for that and wish you best of luck with that. Uh, you mentioned, too, that a lot of you get a lot of notes and whatnot about, um, you know, anecdotally how how good this thing is. And I just popped on to Amazon real quickly and saw just for your original, I think it's called, is it the Echo? Your original? Yeah, it's the seven inch, yeah, echo. yeah. Yeah, it's um there's over three hundred five star ratings. So I I think you're on to something. <laughs> yeah, and, and that, you know, that's just on the one product. I think we have over a thousand combined reviews and we have like a four point eight star rating on all those. And those are independent, those are verified right. buyers. We don't fudge with our reviews. We're we're a very honest, open company. Uh, you know, we, we, we're not interested in selling snake oil. Mm -hmm. We're not interested if people don't like it, if it doesn't work for somebody, we always take it back. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Great. Um, so I just have to ask what's shark tank really like? Are the sharks nicer than they seem? (laughs) Cause they look scary. (laughs) <laughs> Not really. They're kind of what they see. they kind of are what they seem. Really? I mean, I don't know if it's their persona. We only get to see that persona because we're we're only in front of them for about an hour and a half, right? Oh. So, and they're in shark mode at that at that point, right? Um, I bet. I'll have to say it was very scary. It's very oh, nerve wracking, you know. I bet. It was Gosh. very intimidating. We yeah. didn't know how they would accept our product because of what it is. Right. We I, thought maybe they'd make fun of it. They wouldn't believe us. We really went in there, not even having a clue what would happen. Yeah. And so it was. It was pretty scary to get prepared for. But I was very surprised that. The ones I thought that were going to be really vicious actually were very, very good and kind, and, yeah. and they believed us. Right. Um, like, were very, very good to us. I'm sure they're all very nice. And, you know, the shark that we went with, we, we, we partnered with Lori Grenier. Right. And she is super. She's, she, they call her the warm-blooded shark, and she really is <laughs> very, very nice. She seems to be. And, you know, yeah. like you, to really, your point um, that when Mr. Wonderful went for it, I thought, oh, they're in. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, he was the first one that came out. Right. He didn't quite come out with what we wanted. Right. But, you know, we partnered with a shark that, that we felt was going to be help us to get to the masses quicker and into retail. And we really want to keep, you know, our price point low and keep keep it available to, you know, as an affordable product. And Lori has been just really good at, at, at backing us up and helping us with these uh, problems that we've had. Great. Well, I I mean, for what it's worth, I thought you made the absolute perfect decision and you chose the right shark. Yeah. Um, so, um, well, listen, thank you so much for taking time out of your super busy day today. I know you all must be absolutely swamped, um, but to talk t- with me and our FUMS community about Squatty Potty and how it can help us all. I'm I'm sure I'll be hearing from our listeners about their great experiences that they'll have when they get their own Squatty Potty. And to do that, they just have to go to www.fumsnow.com forward slash potty, P-O-T-T-Y. This is my affiliate code, but you won't pay any more for it, but I'll receive a commission for it. So it's a win-win. And thanks for using that URL. I'll put a link in the show notes so everyone can just click and order. So thanks again, Bobby and Judy. Really appreciate it. And I, we really appreciate all you're doing for everyone. Thanks so much. Well, thank you, Kathy. Thanks, it's Kathy. Been, it's been a pleasure talking to you today. Thanks for listening, everybody. If you found value in this podcast, I invite you to go into iTunes, search for FUMS Now, and leave me a five-star review. Not only does that motivate me to create more free content, it also helps others just like you to find this valuable resource. Be sure to sign up for our free newsletter for more tips and tricks for living your best life with MS at FUMSnow.com. And if you have suggestions of future topics or guests for the show, please email me directly at Kathy, K-A-T-H-Y, at FUMSnow.com. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Until next time, remember to speak to this stupid disease like it deserves. Tell it F-U-M-S every day. Thank you.